Leviticus chapter 7. Likewise, this is the law of the trespass offering. It is most holy. In the place where they kill the burnt offering shall they kill the trespass offering, and the blood thereof shall he sprinkle round about upon the altar. And he shall offer of it all the fat thereof, the rump and the fat that covereth the inwards, and the two kidneys and the fat that is on them, which is by the flanks, and the caul that is above the liver, with the kidneys, it shall he take away. And the priest shall burn them upon the altar for an offering made by fire unto the Lord. It is a trespass offering. Every male among the priests shall eat thereof. It shall be eaten in the holy place. It is most holy. As the sin offering is, so is the trespass offering. There is one law for them. The priest that maketh atonement therewith shall have it. And the priest that offereth any man's burnt offering, even the priest shall have to himself the skin of the burnt offering which he hath offered. And all the meat offering that is bacon in the oven, and all that is dressed in the frying pan and in the pan, shall be the priest's that offereth it. And every meat offering mingled with oil and dry shall all the sons of Aaron have, one as much as another. And this is the law of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which he shall offer unto the Lord. If he offer it for a thanksgiving, then he shall offer with the sacrifice of thanksgiving unleavened cakes mingled with oil, and unleavened wafers anointed with oil, and cakes mingled with oil of fine flour, fried. Besides the cakes, he shall offer for his offering leavened bread with the sacrifice of thanksgiving of his peace offerings. And of it he shall offer one out of the whole oblation for an heave offering unto the Lord. And it shall be the priests that sprinkleth the blood of the peace offerings. And the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings for thanksgiving shall be eaten the same day that it is offered. He shall not leave any of it until the morning. But if the sacrifice of his offering be a vow, or a voluntary offering, it shall be eaten the same day that he offereth his sacrifice, and on the morrow also the remainder of it shall be eaten. But the remainder of the flesh of the sacrifice on the third day shall be burnt with fire. And if any of the flesh of the sacrifice of his peace offerings be eaten at all on the third day, it shall not be accepted, neither shall it be imputed unto him that offereth it. It shall be an abomination, and the soul that eateth of it shall bear his iniquity. And the flesh that toucheth any unclean thing shall not be eaten, it shall be burnt with fire. And as for the flesh, all that be clean shall eat thereof. But the soul that eateth of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings, that pertain unto the Lord, having his uncleanness upon him, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, the soul that shall touch any unclean thing, as the uncleanness of man, or any unclean beast, or any abominable unclean thing, and eat of the flesh of the sacrifice of peace offerings, which pertain unto the Lord, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, Ye shall eat no manner of fat, of ox, or of sheep, or of goat. And the fat of the beast that dieth of itself, and the fat of that which is torn with beasts, may be used in any other use, but ye shall in no wise eat of it. For whosoever eateth the fat of the beast, of which men offer an offering made by fire unto the Lord, even the soul that eateth it shall be cut off from his people. Moreover, ye shall eat no manner of blood, whether it be of fowl or of beast, in any of your dwellings. Whatsoever soul it be that eateth any manner of blood, even that soul shall be cut off from his people. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, he that offereth the sacrifice of his peace offerings unto the Lord shall bring his oblation unto the Lord of the sacrifice of his peace offerings.
His own hands shall bring the offerings of the Lord made by fire. The fat with the breast, it shall he bring, that the breast may be waved for a wave offering before the Lord. And the priest shall burn the fat upon the altar, but the breast shall be Aaron's and his son's. And the right shoulder shall ye give unto the priest for an heave offering of the sacrifices of your peace offerings. He among the sons of Aaron that offereth the blood of the peace offerings and the fat shall have the right shoulder for his part. For the wave breast and the heave shoulder have I taken of the children of Israel from off the sacrifices of their peace offerings, and have given them unto Aaron the priest and unto his sons by a statute forever from among the children of Israel. This is the portion of the anointing of Aaron and of the anointing of his sons out of the offerings of the Lord made by fire in the day when he presented them to minister unto the Lord in the priest's office which the Lord commanded to be given them of the children of Israel in the day that he anointed them by a statute forever throughout their generations. This is the law of the burnt offering, of the meat offering, and of the sin offering, and of the trespass offering, and of the consecrations, and of the sacrifice of the peace offerings, which the Lord commanded Moses in Mount Sinai in the day that he commanded the children of Israel to offer their oblations unto the Lord in the wilderness of Sinai. Leviticus chapter 8 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Take Aaron and his sons with him, and the garments and the anointing oil, and a bullock for the sin offering, and two rams and a basket of unleavened bread. And gather thou all the congregation together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. And the assembly was gathered together unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And Moses said unto the congregation, This is the thing which the Lord commanded to be done. And Moses brought Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. And he put upon him the coat and girded him with the girdle and clothed him with the robe and put the ephod upon him. And he girded him with the curious girdle of the ephod and bound it unto him therewith. And he put the breastplate upon him also he put in the breastplate the Urim and the Thummim. And he put the mitre upon his head, also upon the mitre, even upon his forefront, did he put the golden plate, the holy crown, as the Lord commanded Moses. And Moses took the anointing oil, and anointed the tabernacle and all that was therein, and sanctified them. And he sprinkled thereof upon the altar seven times, and anointed the altar and all his vessels, both the laver and his foot, to sanctify them. And he poured of the anointing oil upon Aaron's head, and anointed him to sanctify him. And Moses brought Aaron's sons, and put coats upon them, and girded them with girdles, and put bonnets upon them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he brought the bullock for the sin offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the bullock for the sin offering. And he slew it, and Moses took the blood, and put it upon the horns of the altar round about with his finger, and purified the altar and poured the blood at the bottom of the altar and sanctified it to make reconciliation upon it. And he took all the fat that was upon the inwards and the caul above the liver and the two kidneys in their fat and Moses burned it upon the altar. But the bullock and his hide, his flesh and his dung, he burnt with fire without the camp as the Lord commanded Moses. And he brought the ram for the burnt offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram, and he killed it, and Moses sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about. And he cut the ram into pieces, and Moses burnt the head and the pieces and the fat. And he washed the inwards and the legs in water, and Moses burnt the whole ram upon the altar. It was a burnt sacrifice for a sweet savor, and an offering made by fire unto the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. And he brought the other ram, the ram of consecration. And Aaron and his sons laid their hands upon the head of the ram, and he slew it. And Moses took of the blood of it and put it upon the tip of Aaron's right ear, and upon the thumb of his right hand, and upon the great toe of his right foot. And he brought Aaron's sons, and Moses put of the blood upon the tip of their right ear, and upon the thumbs of their right hands, and upon the great toes of their right feet. And Moses sprinkled the blood upon the altar round about. And he took the fat and the rump 
and all the fat that was upon the inwards, and the call above the liver, and the two kidneys in their fat, and the right shoulder. And out of the basket of unleavened bread that was before the Lord, he took one unleavened cake and a cake of oiled bread and one wafer and put them on the fat and upon the right shoulder. And he put all upon Aaron's hands and upon his son's hands and waved them for a wave offering before the Lord. And Moses took them from off their hands and burnt them on the altar upon the burnt offering. They were consecrations for a sweet savor. It is an offering made by fire unto the Lord. And Moses took the breast and waved it for a wave offering before the Lord. For of the ram of consecration it was Moses' part, as the Lord commanded Moses. And Moses took of the anointing oil and of the blood which was upon the altar, and sprinkled it upon Aaron, and upon his garments, and upon his sons, and upon his sons' garments with him, and sanctified Aaron and his garments, and his sons, and his sons' garments with him. And Moses said unto Aaron and to his sons, Boil the flesh at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and there eat it with the bread that is in the basket of consecrations, as I commanded, saying, Aaron and his sons shall eat it. And that which remaineth of the flesh and of the bread shall ye burn with fire. And ye shall not go out of the door of the tabernacle of the congregation in seven days, until the days of your consecration be at an end. For seven days shall he consecrate you. As he hath done this day, so the Lord hath commanded to do, to make an atonement for you. Therefore shall ye abide at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation day and night seven days, and keep the charge of the Lord that ye die not. For so I am commanded. So Aaron and his sons did all things which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses. Leviticus chapter 9 And it came to pass on the eighth day that Moses called Aaron and his sons and the elders of Israel. And he said unto Aaron, Take thee a young calf for a sin offering, and a ram for a burnt offering, without blemish, and offer them before the Lord. And unto the children of Israel thou shalt speak, saying, Take ye a kid of the goats for a sin offering, and a calf and a lamb, both of the first year, without blemish, for a burnt offering, also a bullock and a ram for peace offerings, to sacrifice before the Lord, and a meat offering mingled with oil. For today the Lord will appear unto you. And they brought that which Moses commanded before the tabernacle of the congregation. And all the congregation drew near and stood before the Lord. And Moses said, This is the thing which the Lord commanded that ye should do, and the glory of the Lord shall appear unto you. And Moses said unto Aaron, Go unto the altar and offer thy sin offering and thy burnt offering, and make an atonement for thyself and for the people, and offer the offering of the people and make an atonement for them, as the Lord commanded. Aaron therefore went unto the altar, and slew the calf of the sin offering which was for himself. And the sons of Aaron brought the blood unto him, and he dipped his finger in the blood, and put it upon the horns of the altar, and poured out the blood at the bottom of the altar. But the fat and the kidneys, and the call above the liver of the sin offering, he burnt upon the altar, as the Lord commanded Moses. And the flesh and the hide he burnt with fire without the camp. And he slew the burnt offering, and Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood which he sprinkled round about upon the altar. And they presented the burnt offering unto him with the pieces thereof and the head, and he burnt them upon the altar. And he did wash the inwards and the legs and burnt them upon the burnt offering on the altar. And he brought the people's offering, and took the goat which was the sin offering for the people, and slew it, and offered it for sin as the first. And he brought the burnt offering, and offered it according to the manner. And he brought the meat offering, and took an handful thereof, and burnt it upon the altar, beside the burnt sacrifice of the morning. He slew also the bullock and the ram for a sacrifice of peace offerings, which was for the people. And Aaron's sons presented unto him the blood which he sprinkled upon the altar round about, and the fat of the bullock and of the ram, the rump, and that which covereth the inwards and the kidneys, and the call above the liver. And they put the fat upon the breasts, and he burnt the fat upon the altar. 
and the breasts and the right shoulder Aaron waved for a wave offering before the Lord, as Moses commanded. And Aaron lifted up his hand toward the people and blessed them, and came down from offering of the sin offering and the burnt offering and peace offerings. And Moses and Aaron went into the tabernacle of the congregation and came out and blessed the people, and the glory of the Lord appeared unto all the people. And there came a fire out from before the Lord and consumed upon the altar the burnt offering and the fat, which when all the people saw, they shouted and fell on their faces. Leviticus chapter 10 And Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer and put fire therein and put incense thereon and offered strange fire before the Lord, which he commanded them not. And there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. Then Moses said unto Aaron, this is it that the Lord spake, saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me, and before all the people I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. And Moses called Mishael and Elzaphan, the sons of Uzziel, the uncle of Aaron, and said unto them, Come near, carry your brethren from before the sanctuary out of the camp. So they went near and carried them in their coats out of the camp, as Moses had said. And Moses said unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and unto Ithamar his sons, Uncover not your heads, neither rend your clothes, lest ye die, and lest wrath come upon all the people. But let your brethren, the whole house of Israel, bewail the burning which the Lord hath kindled. And ye shall not go out from the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. For the anointing oil of the Lord is upon you. And they did according to the word of Moses. And the Lord spake unto Aaron, saying, Do not drink wine nor strong drink, thou nor thy sons with thee, when ye go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest ye die. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, and that ye may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean, and that ye may teach the children of Israel all the statutes which the Lord has spoken unto them by the hand of Moses. And Moses spake unto Aaron, and unto Eleazar, and unto Ithamar his sons that were left. Take the meat offering that remaineth of the offerings of the Lord made by fire, and eat it without leaven beside the altar, for it is most holy. And ye shall eat it in the holy place, because it is thy due, and thy son's due, of the sacrifices of the Lord made by fire, for so I am commanded. And the wave breast and heave shoulder shall ye eat in a clean place, thou and thy sons and thy daughters with thee, for they be thy due, and thy sons' due, which are given out of the sacrifices of peace offerings of the children of Israel. The heave shoulder and the wave breast shall they bring with the offerings made by fire of the fat, to wave it for a wave offering before the Lord. And it shall be thine and thy sons with thee, by a statute forever, as the Lord hath commanded. And Moses diligently sought the goat of the sin offering, and behold, it was burnt. And he was angry with Eleazar and Ithamar, the sons of Aaron, which were left alive, saying, Wherefore have ye not eaten the sin offering in the holy place, seeing it is most holy? And God hath given it you to bear the iniquity of the congregation, to make atonement for them before the Lord. Behold, the blood of it was not brought in within the holy place. Ye should indeed have eaten it in the holy place, as I commanded. And Aaron said unto Moses, Behold, this day have they offered their sin offering and their burnt offering before the Lord, and such things have befallen me. And if I had eaten the sin offering today, should it have been accepted in the sight of the Lord? And when Moses heard that, he was content. Leviticus chapter 11 and the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Whatsoever parteth the hoof, and is cloven-footed, 
and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Nevertheless, these shall ye not eat of them that chew the cud, or of them that divide the hoof, as the camel. Because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the coney, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the hare, because he cheweth the cud, but divideth not the hoof, he is unclean unto you. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven-footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. Whatsoever hath fins and scales in the waters, in the seas and in the rivers, them shall ye eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the seas and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be even an abomination unto you. Ye shall not eat of their flesh, but ye shall have their carcasses in abomination." Whatsoever hath no fins nor scales in the waters, that shall be an abomination unto you. And these are they which ye shall have in abomination among the fowls. They shall not be eaten, they are an abomination, the eagle, and the ossifrage, and the osprey, and the vulture, and the kite after his kind. Every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the cuckoo, and the hawk after his kind, and the little owl, and the cormorant, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gyre eagle, and the stork, the heron after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat. All fowls that creep, going upon all four, shall be an abomination unto you. Yet these may ye eat of every flying, creeping thing that goeth upon all four, which have legs above their feet to leap with all upon the earth. Even these of them ye may eat, the locust after his kind, and the bald locust after his kind, and the beetle after his kind, and the grasshopper after his kind. But all other flying, creeping things which have four feet shall be an abomination unto you. And for these ye shall be unclean. Whosoever toucheth the carcass of them shall be unclean until the even. And whosoever beareth aught of the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the even. The carcasses of every beast which divideth the hoof and is not cloven-footed nor cheweth the cud are unclean unto you. Every one that toucheth them shall be unclean. And whatsoever goeth upon his paws among all manner of beasts that go on all four, those are unclean unto you, whoso toucheth their carcass shall be unclean until the even. And he that beareth the carcass of them shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the even. They are unclean unto you. These also shall be unclean unto you among the creeping things that creep upon the earth, the weasel and the mouse, and the tortoise after his kind, and the ferret and the chameleon and the lizard and the snail and the mole. These are unclean to you among all that creep. Whosoever doth touch them when they be dead shall be unclean until the even. And upon whatsoever any of them when they are dead doth fall, it shall be unclean, whether it be any vessel of wood or raiment or skin or sack, whatsoever vessel it be, wherein any work is done, it must be put into water, and it shall be unclean until the even, so it shall be cleansed. And every earthen vessel whereinto any of them falleth, whatsoever is in it, shall be unclean, and ye shall break it.
of all meat which may be eaten, that on which such water cometh shall be unclean. And all drink that may be drunk in every such vessel shall be unclean. And every thing whereupon any part of their carcass falleth shall be unclean. Whether it be oven or ranges for pots, they shall be broken down. For they are unclean and shall be unclean unto you. Nevertheless, a fountain or pit wherein there is plenty of water shall be clean. But that which toucheth their carcass shall be unclean. And if any part of their carcass fall upon any sowing seed which is to be sown, it shall be clean. But if any water be put upon the seed, and any part of their carcass fall thereon, it shall be unclean unto you. And if any beast of which ye may eat die, he that toucheth the carcass thereof shall be unclean until the even. And he that eateth of the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the even. He also that beareth the carcass of it shall wash his clothes and be unclean until the even. And every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth shall be an abomination. It shall not be eaten. Whatsoever goeth upon the belly and whatsoever goeth upon all four, or whatsoever hath more feet among all creeping things that creep upon the earth, them ye shall not eat, for they are an abomination. Ye shall not make yourselves abominable with any creeping thing that creepeth, neither shall ye make yourselves unclean with them, that ye should be defiled thereby. For I am the Lord your God. Ye shall therefore sanctify yourselves, and ye shall be holy, for I am holy. Neither shall ye defile yourselves with any manner of creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. For I am the Lord that bringeth you up out of the land of Egypt to be your God. Ye shall therefore be holy, for I am holy. This is the law of the beasts and of the fowl, and of every living creature that moveth in the waters, and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth, to make a difference between the unclean and the clean, and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. Elevation 
salvation and grace Who could be more blessed than we? We give praise and sing to God are being cleansed Knowing God's righteous disposition We fear God and shun evil in our hearts Through persecution and hardship God's words always lead the way Our faith has been completed We stand witness and see God's love received God's great salvation we sing songs of praise to God praise be to his righteous holy disposition so worthy of man's praise praise his wisdom and almightiness in his work he has conquered and gained a group of people God's chosen ones love Him and submit from the heart We will worship Him into eternity